you give them the freedoms, humans will always dazzle you. That much I know. That's if you can hack into an AI and make it do bad things, you know, how, 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 do, how do we make sure that that's not possible? I mean, both as an astronomer and an astronaut, to put my two hands on the, the greatest telescope in the world up in space, I mean, what a, what a thrill. I would wonder, why do I still feel unhappy in the face of achievement and success? And so they learn about each other's roles and build trust among each other. So it's yeah. very easy to focus on the technology. Psychedelics were connected to the anti-war movement in Vietnam. They were connected to people that were involved in the environmental movement, in the yep, civil rights yep, movement, in the yep. women's rights movement. If you don't study what's going on in the marketplace, you're going to be led by somebody else who does. So what's my feedback to you? How do you handle it? What we're going to be. I think that the, the two big questions for humanity are, um, what is the trajectory of intelligence and sentience? In other words, like, what's the point? Um, and also, like, how do we get there w without uh, killing each other or, or just, just all dying violently? In other words, this molecule was dictating what had to be done more ancient, more powerful, deeper forces are at work that have been shaping us for goodness for a much longer time. All it knows is that it's received these different uh, patterns and it can correlate them with other patterns and that's how it puts together your perception of the world. It just came out, you know. I wrote the melody and the lyrics and it just, something fits or it doesn't. These stories, you know, make sure they're real. Yeah see how the mainstream media reported on them, see if the mainstream media reported on them, try to ascertain like where they got this stuff from. Happy is the happiness equation. Now, there is one common thing across every moment in your life you've ever felt happy. Are we satisfying the goals uh, of our best selves uh, to basically lift everybody up? I have the open cog system whose knowledge representation is a network, a weighted labeled hypergraph, and there's multiple AI algorithms acting on this common knowledge graph. My viewpoint is that God, or source, cannot exist without creation existing, because it emerges through creation. That is loss of self. Self dying and not being automatically replaced by the division of other self. Because a psychiatric patient, there's no one place in the head you can point to. But if we see overlapping symptomology, we can know that that part of the brain is involved. What I discovered after just one year of teaching by the system that they told me to do, to use, was that um, no one was learning. And also, if you think, you ask yourself, why is it that um, the sound um, uh, subjectively feels very different from, say, the experience of the color red? Mm -hmm. So if we could extend the youthfulness uh, of the body, those regenerative properties that you see. This is a giant uh, automation story. And so we have to start owning the problem and then have real solutions that are going to be massive. That's the generational challenge, but that's why I'm running for president. That they're driven in large part by temperamental differences, so that would be in the big five, extroversion, neuroticism, agreeableness, conscientiousness, and openness.